All right, guys, today is a special video. Today, Bryson DeChambeau is back on the channel. You guys have seen him before. What's up, brother? Appreciate you coming. Um, today, we're doing a break 65 together. Bryson's chances are going to be pretty solid today. We're playing a public course here, uh, Twin Creeks Golf Club. It's very attackable, it's very scorable. And considering Bryson has shot a 58, I'm excited to see what he can do on this course today. Yeah, last time I played here, I shot one under. The goal is obviously to break 65. We're gonna see what we can do. We're starting on the back nine today, hole number 10. Bryson, any words to start this off? Are you feeling good? Oh, we're on number 10? We're on 10. Oh, I gotta go redo everything now. <laughs> you plan for hole one, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm excited for today. This is gonna be a lot of fun, dude. Thanks for having me out. And, of course. Uh, shoot, what if we could break 60 again today? That'd be sick. That would be nuts. That would be course record, I'm pretty sure. I don't yeah. know the course record. I'm gonna try and go for the course record today. We'll see. <laughs> so not even break 65, break course record. I like that. I'll start us off then, if that's cool. Sorry, I'm marking my balls. No, you're good, man. You're I gotta good. I got do a lot of, a lot of prep work. You're taking us serious today then. Yeah. I like that. Where do we go? Right there? Uh, yeah. You have the world left. So I normally just aim left and if it cuts, it cuts. If it goes left, it doesn't matter. You'll see, it's very attackable. I'm a draw player, so I'm just in my stroke little draw. Is that good? I can't see it. I don't know. I think it's good. Right at right, the flag. Yeah, then that's perfect. And it's par five, so. Oh, sick. Solid start. Wow. Can you speak? You can do it, spit it oh, out. Wait. Go ahead, go ahead. Hey, go ahead, spit it out, man. He's oh, got it. A little buggy today. Mm -hmm. So tell me about this move. What, what's this bad boy? Um, we had these at the old Good House and we actually used to bring them to this course all the time. We got yelled at and we're told we could never use these at this course. And this was like two years ago. And now that they actually have these at this course, <laughs> which is hilarious to me because we used to drive ours over and we got in trouble for it. 230 little down breeze, I got a four iron. I actually don't know if it's down breeze. I'll probably have to hit this one pretty hard, but. It feels like it's a little off the right. Yeah, a little, mostly off the right. Uh, Good luck. Go. Right, just chipping, yeah, a little short. That's fine. Not bad, not a bad spot. No problem for an up and down there. Yeah, we'll take it, we'll take it. Uh, stroke play, it's chill, you know? It's just, it's a vibe. By the way, you've never actually seen me play play a full 18 I, That's why I'm, I'm genuinely excited for this. <laughs> this is new for me. I'm thinking just a nice little smooth seven iron. I wanna land it at three or four yards short. I'm gonna aim at the right edge of the green. Obviously getting it close, but if you miss it, you wanna be a little right. Oh, be good. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Keep coming, go. Oh, a little short, wow. Yeah. I said be good to something that should not have <laughs> ever, ever been said. Oh, well. We're definitely doing lift clean in place today because it is wet. We're both in kind of a good spot. Even though we missed the green, if you're gonna miss, this is where you kind of wanna miss. I'm not sure about these greens and how they're reacting today, but. That's something that like when we're actually prepping, we know how it's gonna react. Right. We have a good understanding of what's gonna happen before we ever get into a tournament round. Like you didn't hit any putts before today no, or anything No like putts, that. no chipping, no nothing. Hit 30, 25 balls in the range, like a normal guy would, you know? Oh, go in. Oh, there we go. Let's go. <laughs> we got two under, baby. <laughs> that was okay. sick. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. You don't need to practice. You need to get, get yeah, warmed up. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, something light, something light. Who needs prep, I guess, right? <laughs> Who needs prep? Let's see if I can dunk it on top of him. Run. Oh, that was right on the line, too. All nice. right. Well, birdie eagle start. I mean, up. that's what we like to see. Come on. You're one up. Yeah, I mean, technically, yeah, I guess I am one up. But that's the thing. I'm not even really thinking about this like a match. You know, it's more us versus the course today. For sure, but still, I think, you know, <laughs> hey, it's kind of fun lucky. for the viewers. There we go. Could Garrett beat me? Imagine. But he can't start the cart. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Par four, dog leg right. Kinda, wow. well for you, honestly. That's a straight hole. Well, I for guess me, so. I think. Yeah. I mean, you could probably just go right at that tree on the right side. I have to go left of it, because I don't think I can get past it? it. That tree's probably, I want to say 295, 300. 296. 295, I said 295. So I go like a little left of that. Got it. Yeah, good ball. I think that's good. It just needs to sit a hair, maybe. You might be able to get this close. I think we're gonna go over it. I don't know how close I can get. <laughs> get out of there. I didn't expect that. That was way funnier than it needed to be. I wish I could do that on tour. Yeah. 
Oh that's my. smoked. Yo. That's perfect. Golf's fun when you do that. Hey, always make sure to take care of the golf course, okay? <laughs> Honestly, hot start, but you got to keep it rolling. And these brake 65s, you can't let off the gas, you know? I have 58 yards, I think. I think it was 58 yards. Distance controls everything for me. This is where I recently I've been not super dialed, but we're going to switch that right now. That was sick though, that was a little nipper. So 32 yards, not perfect lie, but good lie. Land this pretty much where Hudson is and just gonna have it trickle over to the left. Not bad, not bad. Oh, that's gotta go. Greens are a little soft, softer than I would imagine. Just didn't hit hard enough. I think this is a pretty dead straight putt. Not 100% sure, it might move left. I don't know, it's kind of a tricky one. I'm just gonna trust it and hope for the best. Oh, okay. The greens are soft still. It's soft, yeah, that's it really out. weird. Cause like the way you see my our wedges are reacting, I didn't really expect it to be that quick. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I got a ten footer here, guys. One percent. It's gonna be three inches out. You know what three inches is, right? Uh, yeah. Well, that went right. Wow. Tricky. Uh, wow. These things are a little. A little interesting. Well, that was a bad wedge. Oh, oh my gosh. That was wild. Not for sure it missed. That was it's, a good roll. Good. Yeah, thank you. Well. You know, not, not a great first putt, but good second putt. <laughs> yeah. Come back. Yeah. What? Yeah. That It was trying to move so, left the whole so way. This is exactly what I'm talking about in regards to good greens on tour compared to average greens out there. It's actually sometimes more difficult to putt on these little bouncier surfaces, not perfect surfaces. No excuses, it's just sometimes more difficult to score well on these courses because of that fact. Well, sometimes we have it so nice on tour, the greens are perfect. And we were talking about that, but people like always ask pro golfers like, oh, what would you shoot on this like public course? Or what would you shoot on this really easy municipal course? And Bryson was telling me, he's like, Sometimes not better because you're not making as many putts, but we'll see. Maybe we turn it around today. 194. Slow into probably playing what, 205, maybe 204? Yeah. I got a six iron. This is the furthest I've ever played this tee box back. This hole is always kind of a weird one. It's a tricky par three. Looks a lot easier than it is. The hardest part is getting the distance right on this hole. I nearly shanked it, but it'll work. Go, go, go. Land on the front and roll. I didn't see that play, but that worked out pretty well. <laughs> I didn't either, trust me. Oh, I, I, damn, I damn near shanked that, <laughs> so. Okay. I got well, a putt though. Okay, this is something you guys don't understand too, but when there's a little bit of grass right here, anything over four, 45 degrees of loft, it starts to make the ball spin a little bit more. So really? if I had eight iron here, this thing will spin at nine, almost 9,000. So considering the grass, it's a little damp, it's gonna spin more. So I need to play a little bit more club here probably about five, six more yards because of that. So I'm gonna play this, the wind, land next to the hole. I'm gonna play it just like what you said, 205, 207 shot. I've never heard that. Seven iron. Learned something new every Something day. Phil Mickelson talks about quite a bit, actually. Oh, I pulled it. It's fine. Is that long? I think it's pin high, to be honest with you. It's just over that slope. If you're if you're ever gonna lose strokes, where would you lose strokes, do you think? I would lose strokes probably around the 30, 40 yard shot area. Okay. Like what I did on the last hole. I mean, I had 32 yards, you get it up and down every single time, but I just didn't hit it the right distance. And it's a feel thing and- Well, you're in the off season. Well, yeah, part of it. Yeah. <laughs> I should be better though. That's one thing I gotta work on. Well, I was clearly wrong in the wind assessment and how far it went. Yeah, that went a long ways. It's, it's almost downwind. I'm. Happy I damn near shanked that six iron. Yeah, no Because I think it is downwind. That's unfortunate. This is a very difficult up and down. Playing a 56 degree here, trying to land it in the first cut, the shiny grasses, and then trickle it on. Oh my gosh. Very good shot. Wow. Did you see how soft that bounced? That's unreal though. It's unreal. I'll take that. Bryson's in for par. I'm up the hill. I think it's breaking to the right of hair, maybe. Oh. Yeah. It just shows how well taken care of we are on tour. Like yeah. I, I rarely ever play at these types of golf courses. Right. And I, I feel, what do I, I feel, I feel lucky to be able to play on golf courses that have the conditions they do. I mean, it is crazy. Cause like even the times that I've gotten the chance to play 
tour level courses, you definitely feel a difference. The greens are fast, but it's almost easier. It's well, like, if you hit your line with right speed, you know it's gonna go in. That was an incredible up and down, by the way. I was so scared. <laughs> I honestly, when you were over there, I'm, I hate to say you it, I was saying, chunks. there's definitely a chance you're making bogey uh, here. Like 100%. a solid chance. Not only that, I could have flubbed it and left it in the same area. I mean, percentages would say you're not getting that up and down. Yes. So that's impressive. So par four, this is the toughest hole. Yes. Okay, do I hit driver or no? Uh, I always hit driver on this hole. Kind of, you see that like the left wall up there? Yeah. Ideally, if you see the very end of the left wall is like ideal end point. Got it. I well, normally go left of that though. Got it, I'm gonna try and bounce it off of the, the rocks. <laughs> right, oh. right. <laughs> that should be fine, right? I was just trying to have my fairway finder. I think that's okay. It looks fun. Yeah. Did not care about hitting that far. What? What's that? Didn't care about hitting it far. Not on this hole, no. I do, I'm like. I'm kidding. This is the one hole that I get really scared of. So if I get through this hole, I'm normally pretty solid on this course. Well, now you're making me scared. No, nothing to be scared about. That's perfection. Yeah, that's slotted right there. How was driving accuracy this last season for you? Uh, it got really good. A week before I shot 58. Right. So it was because of this thing. All right. 125, kind of right center fairway. Honestly, a really good spot. I got a 52 degree. Trying to just work a little bit of a cut in there. Anything within 10 feet would be solid here. This is where I got to be dialed today if I want to shoot 65 or lower. Ooh, saucy. He needs to go, maybe. Saucy. Go. Go in. in. Oh, oh my gosh. Is that close, Chase? <laughs> yeah. Dang. you. I don't know if it's long or not. Come on, let's make another birdie. All right, well, we got 78 yards. Uh, we got Garrett in super tight, like he likes it, uh, like anyone would like it. I mean, it's a little into the wind, so I'm gonna play like an 80, just over just over 78 yard shot, so like an 80 yard shot, which is gonna be at 10 o'clock, but I'm gonna try and throw it past it and spin it back a little bit, so I'm gonna give it just a little more gas. Oh, not bad, didn't, not bad. That, that, that didn't do that. Not bad. <sighs> Gotta work on these wedges. Man, I'm surprised it didn't spin. That was interesting. Dude, if this would have just spun back a little bit, folks. Could have gone in. Yeah, honestly, in theory, if it was, if it spun back, if it was two feet closer, spun back a little bit, it would have gone in, you know? And my ball didn't do anything. It did not spin one bit. Yeah. Three under. Three under. This is kind of a hot start. I gotta keep it up though. See, that's the thing, guys. I can't really think about it. You gotta be dull and numb to it. Yeah, like I don't really care that See, I yeah, just made birdie. Yeah. The I body mean, just needs to take you, over. You do, but you just keep executing. Is that how it was with your 58, kinda? Exactly. It just started happening. Yep, and it just kept happening. And I wasn't focused on the hole before or after. It just was like, all right, on to the next, more birdies. Until at one point, there had to have been a point, like towards the end, probably. 18, yeah. when I was at 11 under yeah. and was at 59 if I parred yeah. on a par three. Kind yeah. of thinking about it then. No, but then you hit scary. it to 40 feet and you make the putt for 58, so. Did at any point when you were walking up to the 40 footer, did three putt ever cross your mind? Oh yeah, all the time, yeah. the whole time actually. <laughs> but I just kept telling myself, this is what you practice 40 footers for. Yeah. This is, and I do it every day I step up on that practice putting green. I practice my 40 footers on the foresight. Yeah. And I'm like, this is just a 40 footer, just hoo -doo. and I went internal and I just focused on 40 footer and it came off of the right line. I looked up and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's perfect. <laughs> it's, it's going in. It's going in <laughs> and it just happened. Oh, I thought you made it. Good roll. That was a good roll. That's terrible. The two wedges that are not inside five feet, disappointing. All right, well, this is drivable, Bryson. It depends on how, really? how you want to play it. You can either play it safe or go over these streets. I don't know. I'm going to have a little bit of fun with it. Try and play a big cut. Kind of aim left edge of the trees, cut it back over to the pin. It's into the wind, so I don't think I can. I definitely can't. Eh, I don't think I can get it there. But I can probably get it within 20 yards of the green. I'm not afraid of having fun. So where do you have to go? So like I draw. <laughs> Yeah, that's so you would have to tee up right here, the little limb without any leaves on it. Yeah. Yeah, right over that, okay. pretty much. And I'm going to try and play a high cut and get it somewhere within 20 yards of the green. 
and I'm playing the wrong hole. That's fine. See, now I'm just gonna have like a 60 yard wedge on the par five. So that's, I think that's really good. Sit. It might be a hair long left by a hair. I mean, like a fraction. Well, well I hit exactly where you told me to. It was, so. it was a good shot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's a caddy mistake if that's not good. <laughs> what do I got up there, Bryson? Uh, you got a crown. It's on a crown, so good luck. Do I have a bunker in between me? Yeah, a little bit. You got to you land it like six yards short, but there, there's space. There's 20 yards of room between the pin and the, the edge of the bunker. So whatever your distance is, just play it six yards, seven yards short. Got it. My last wedge spun a little bit, so this might spin, who knows. I got 48 yards in a 60 degree in hand. That should spin. A little short. This is a good little shot here. That's not too bad of a shot back there. All right. Yeah. I'll take that. That's not bad. It's one thing. Bryson's chipping is really solid, at least from what I've seen so far. Bryson, is your chipping typically really good? My chipping around the greens is phenomenal. It's when you get into Bermuda rough that I struggle. If it's ryegrass or long Kentucky blue bluegrass, I'm one of the best in the world. But when it comes to Bermuda, because I didn't grow up in it, I don't know how to play them very well, it's it's tough. I'm the same way. Can you bent, zoysia, blue, rye, whatever. Yeah. But once you put me in Bermuda, I just forget how to play golf. Oh, you're right of that. Yeah, you pushed it just a bit. It's all right. <laughs> it also, it almost also like hit something and moved right too. It's a, it's a tough, yeah, it's not easy to make. That was a combination of a bad stroke and not a great roll. Nice. All right. Good burn. That's nice. Glad to make that. Two under, three under. Yeah. Through five. On to another par five. There we go. Sweet. Two under. So Perfect. It's it's an like easy that. one. We can get a couple shots. It's definitely eagleable. I, I do want to say one thing though. Like whenever I'm uncomfortable on greens and I don't know which way it's gonna break, I always go internal. I always think, okay, how can I make the best stroke possible? Not even worry about the outcome. I like know how far I hit it, but always focus internally on what I can do, what I can control. Exactly. Yeah to make sure that the outcome is as best as it possibly could be. That's how I am That's like you can do. with aerated greens and stuff. And sometimes I putt better. I will never putt on aerated it's greens. Tough, I can't, dude. my it's, brain won't allow me. It's <laughs> rough. Wow, it's almost worth it just to lay back. Why? Because of the water? Water. Yeah. And you're gonna I, be in the rough, the, the fairway is so tight. The thing is, I mean. How far does it take to cover You can play water? it miles left in this hole. It's, it's 310 to the, tree okay so it's not as close as i thought oh on the right side yeah it's 310 to the little orange tree or yellow tree yeah i always aim up the left side of this hole and if it goes left it goes left stop why was i continuously just talking about this water i've never hit it over there in my life that's short though <laughs> i think it's okay Bro, I think I play, you're fine i played this course maybe a hundred times I've never taken that line in my life. Well, okay, so I'm gonna go with the cart path. <laughs> I was so scared of the water, dude. <laughs> Sorry, dude. No, my you're bad. good. I'm gonna go just right of the cart path. See the cart path? Yep. Not the right yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's where I'm gonna kind of try and go. I like that. Go. <laughs> Perfect. Just right of the cart path. I mean, that's what I got, man. That is money. That's exactly what you wanna be. Right there. I'm such in between clubs right now. I don't know. I have 260. I don't think I can get three iron there out of the rough. All right, I got through it here. We're gonna try and play a little high cut in there. Okay, whoa, 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 real quick. Sorry. How far is it and how far does that club go? 263. Okay. This club probably goes 275. I would encourage you <laughs> to hit something less than that and try and run it up out of this line. You think so? 1000%. <laughs> it's because it's going to jump. It is a thousand percent going to jump. What's your yeah. next club down? Three iron. Oh, sh well, that's a little tough. Like if I had hybrid, I would say yes. Yeah. The thing is, there's I think there's enough loft on this face All right. for you to take some. I agree with you. Just know it's going to jump. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's actually might work really well the way it came out. You thinned that, didn't you? Yeah. Spinning that might cut. work incredibly. Dude, that's that's pretty solid. I think that's good as you can do. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that was yeah, solid we'll at the lie. Thank you. 198, so it's a little downwind. I am gonna hit an eight iron, just a smoothie. I'm actually gonna play just about a 1030, which is, uh, I'm, I'm essentially gonna try and hit a 190 shot. It's a little downwind right now. Be good, I think. 
Do we like it? Oh, what? <laughs> no. I didn't think that was going to be uh, short. I didn't think so either. That was the last thing I thought that was going to be. I know. That's weird. If anything, I was like, I'm glad I didn't say it, but I almost told it to say it. Long? Yeah. All the pins are on crowns today, which makes it hard. Let's see if I can chip in again. Two par, two par fives in the front, two eagles on the front would be nice. Got a 60 degree here. A little left to right up the hill. I've chipped in from this exact location before. Have you really? Mm -hmm. Play the clip, Ryder. Me chipping in from right here. It's, it was literally right here. Sit. Sit. All right. I'll take it. Not the look that I want at birdie on this par five. These are ones that you got to take advantage of if you can. So it's 54 feet up the hill, some bounces and whatnot. I'm going to play this probably about 70 feet here. A little left to right. See if I can make some magic happen here. I want to see it. I'm rooting for you. He's rooting for me. That's so sweet of him. Simmer. I was that kind of fast, low key. Yeah, that came out pretty good. Wow. Not the putt I wanted to leave myself. Guys, I wish I could tell you what this putt's going to do. I think. But we're just going to hit it and find out. Oh. Did that go left and right three or four times? Uh, I think so. It was, it was like a snake, but unfortunately yeah. just missed. We all have to play it today. Yeah, we do. I thought I made it. Dang it. Well, no, that's no chance. What the? <sighs> that's good. What's going on, Hudson? There's a bee. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hudson just had a bee in his shirt, and I look over, he's like, he's just swatting it away, but he's holding the gimbal, and he's like trying to still get the shot. That's respect. He waited till Bryson putt to get the bee out. All right, I'm going five iron here, guys. A little sauteed five iron 205 par three. Yeah, let's lock in here. Oh, beautiful. Get a little right. I like that little knockdown swing. Felt really yeah, nice. Yeah, about 205. I played that exactly the number. I should be cutting this, but I'm going to draw this like an idiot. I mean, please go in the hole. Just do it. Please for spin once. left, please. Oh, bounced right. Wow. How That's does that shot, just though. bounce right up the hill? I got some weird Great golf shot. ball stuff going on, you know? <laughs> left to right to get it to four under, guys. This is actually... It's a big putt for you. Yeah, we make this. We're kind of on track. Par 72? Par 72. Gotcha. It's seven gotta under. Shoot, gotta shoot eight to break it. I'm a two. I actually finally got a breaker, which I'm happy about. The whole like straight wiggly putts. Oh, this is nightmare status for me right here. Yeah, you're like, you're kind of screwed. But, I'm, like, I'm screwed, yeah. I have my first big breaker of the day. You would have definitely been on big break had you been around that time era. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> All the trick shot random stuff. Yeah. <gasps> There's no way. <sighs> I that couldn't, was such a good putt. Yeah, I couldn't <laughs> have hit a better putt. I really couldn't have. Man. Whipped out and finished right of the hole. The softest <laughs> lip. It was just like a butter lip. Just, just barely kissed the lip, unfortunately. That, that's what you call no a butter hole. sauteed lip right yeah. there. A little filet of fish. Exactly. Okay, I am screwed to the pooch. You just got to trickle it in and hope the grain pushes it the right way. Willed it in. It broke three different I'm not directions. Tiger Woods, but that was a really good putt. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it move left, and, and then, then it went, went back straight. Right. Yeah, it worked out well. That's a, that's a good, that's a good birdie. Nice. Uh, Ties the match back up, too. Three under to three under. On to the last two of the front nine. Okay, the unfortunate truth of the situation, and this is really a bummer to say, we might be doing a nine-hole video today. The back nine, the next nine, is slammed with public play and it's probably gonna take us three hours at least just to play the next nine, and we gotta go film a podcast. It's unfortunate to say it because I'm three under right now, but this might just be a nine hole video. Guys. And with that being said, what this means is we'll have to do a break 65 in the future with Bryson. You know, this just leads to another 18 hole video that hopefully will come very soon. And maybe we'll do it at a different course next time. You kind of want to almost like just favor the par three that we just played. So confused. So pen over here. Oh, okay. Anything right of it's fine. Oh, I mean, really? Because you're going to carry it far enough. Okay, I can cover the water? Yeah, easily. I'm <laughs> going to push for it today, but... Oh, righty then. Let's go. <laughs> Jim Carrey over here. That's perfection. Yeah, that's exactly where you want to be. And that's how you stripe it. Mm-hmm. 
right there. That's one of my favorite characters of all time is Jim Carrey in the 90s, literally. Yeah. My favorite of all time. Boo 42! <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, I've never seen Ace Ventura. Are you kidding yeah. me? I gotta show you this. You gotta what? see the scene. I've, You've I've, got to see the no, scene. But Jim Carrey's one of my favorite actors, okay. so it's like really tough that I'm saying that right now, but. And let's see that in slow-mo replay. Go! I think that carried. I should. Should be fine. I was listening for the splash. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. Neither did I. I think we're good. I don't know if this is my ball. We're gonna see if it is. I got so lucky, guys. Fingers crossed. I'm like 85 yards. Please be my ball. Please, 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 please. It's my ball. Mine somehow, literally, this is, they do call me the luckiest golfer. I've been called the luckiest golfer multiple times and I might just be. However, I have like a dirt lie. I'm not complaining. I'm just happy I'm in play. I think that's gonna work out. Shot. Thanks. All right, everybody. I have 61 yards. I'm gonna try and throw this up in the air and land it soft because there is a slope short right of it that makes it trickle down to the left, but it's pretty firm. So I'm gonna try and land it soft. I don't want it running too hard because it'll run by the pat by the pen. So I'm gonna try and land this 55, 56 yards and throw it up in the air. It's a little in the wind. Aim to the right, make it trickle to the left. I came out dead. My wedge game is not that great right now. I gotta work on that. Not mad at this at all, to be honest. A little left to right down the hill. Again, you guys heard it. My goal is to get this to four under par. Dude, I was expecting that to roll out a lot more. Yeah, I mean, you probably also saw mine roll out like crazy. Okay, I didn't think it was gonna break that much. Holy crap. That was such a bad attempt. It's okay, we got one more hole. Yep. Still 300 though. Uh oh, Garrett, I really like this line. I love it. Oh, softer goes in. <laughs> yep. Had the line. That's good. Dang it. 300 to 300. On to the last. I mean, we didn't plan on this being a stroke play match, but we'll see, see who. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll see who wins. <laughs> yeah, we'll see who wins. <laughs> Final hole. It kind of did turn into a little match, but uh -huh. pretty solid golf game play today. Definitely wish we would have made more putts, but always got hole nine. Bryce and I, final hole. We both decided we were gonna try and rip at this one. I'm gonna see if I can get it within 40 yards of the green. Bryson's gonna kind of go at the green. Driver in hand here. I was pumped. As good as I can ball. hit it, thanks. Doesn't that feel just amazing when you stripe one like that? Yeah, oh, ba ball. Barely carried. <laughs> That's still a good drive. Thank you, thank you. I did hit, that was the nicest drive of the day, for sure. So, when you have a dog leg left, to get more yardage, maybe one more yard, go over to the left side of the tee box so you can cut the corner a little easier. Gets you that extra yard for those that didn't know. All right, I'm gonna do my long drive swing here for fun. Oh, you dirty dog. That's it. Well, good shot. Get left. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, really. Yeah, it's I mean, fine. The difference is mine rolled 30 yards and yours almost spun backwards. <laughs> It landed and actually, like went a foot. Lower off the driver. That was good though. I'll take it. I actually have 69 yards. Ends back right. I'm actually going 56 degree here because my 60 degree is too muddy and I don't want to clean it. So we're going to play this one a little bit lower. One hopper, stopper, jumper. That was a really bad shot. Wedges were just not on today. We're just not on. 59 yards. I'm going to play, let's see, 58 yards. Play a 915 shot. 58 yards. Just land this right on 58 yards. That just came out so bad. Hey, you and I both, brother. That came out really poor. I'm going to decide to not line this ball up because I'm just going to hit it and hope. Because today, using the line has not really worked for me. I right, said, so if you had to guess, what would you say my putt does? Educated guess. Uh, cross the T, dot the I, dot the T, cross the I. It's going to go straight. Okay. That's what I was thinking, too. It maybe goes a little left. That's then back to the right at the end, though. Yeah, it's actually going to go a little right. Oh. Okay, I pushed the heck out of that. I think I had the right line. I just that was perfect line. It. Thank you. All right, knock it in for the win. Even though we weren't planning on having a match, it kind of happened. I know. Oh, it goes right at the end. That went right at the end. Gosh dang it! Hey, brother, 
Thanks, man. Yeah, that was fun. Appreciate that. Wish you could have got 18 inches. I know. I, I do too. But hey, Sorry. the reason why though, for everyone watching, the reason why is we're about to film a podcast. So stay tuned for that. You know, unfortunately, obviously we didn't get the 18 holes in, but we tied 300 and 300. You played really well today. I That's appreciate awesome. that. I had a lucky chip in. Uh, neither of us really made too many putts, but- and Our wedges. Yeah. <laughs> we got to win our wedges. The, the wedges were not dialed in. But that's good news for next video. Hopefully you guys stay tuned. We will be doing a break 65 at some point and maybe we'll do it on different courses next time. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you haven't subscribed to Bryson and all of his socials, there are a link in the description down below and we will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.